Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. A homeowner was swindled out of almost $10,000 after he thought he had hired a builder to do some patio work. Albert Miller, of Nevada, described the saga as a nightmare. He wanted his backyard renovated in December 2022 and surfed the internet to find the best possible builder, for the Fox affiliate KVVU TV. Miller didn't just pick the first builder he came across as he said he spoke to six different tradesmen. I ultimately selected the middle of the road guy, he said. Miller revealed that he didn't choose a tradesman who had just started their business as the one he opted for had been working for more than a decade. He paid for the work up front before things took a turn for the worse. I gave him about $93, $9400 approximately. I still haven't gotten any money back, he blasted. Miller put down money for a deposit and called the builder as he chased an update. He was told to come into the firm's offices to select materials before being met with a wall of silence. Miller claimed the building company had stopped answering their calls and the office had been closed when he turned up. I was like, I think I just lost $9,400, he fumed. Chasing his losses, he then emailed the owner of the company, who explained to him the firm was going through bankruptcy. A new law has since come into force that limits the amount tradespeople can collect. The work that Miller initially wanted for his backyard has since been completed. And he was reimbursed thanks to the Nevada State Contractors Board Residential Recovery Fund. As scams become more sophisticated with the use of artificial intelligence, it is important you know how to spot a scam. Source, Chase.com. Miller said that there were other homeowners in a similar position. Contractors and subcontractors contribute to the program and it's designed to help homeowners that have suffered losses. But there is a strict eligibility criteria. Homeowners must have suffered actual damages and exhausted all other avenues of trying to recover the money, according to the state contractors board. However those who hire unlicensed builders are not eligible for the funds. Homeowners must file a complaint within four years after the work has been completed, per the terms of the program. They must submit copies of checks and the contract between themselves and the builder they hired. When a homeowner submits a claim, it is investigated by officials. They are encouraged to submit photographs as part of their application. Homeowners have been warned if they have work completed while their claim is being processed, it can be difficult to prove. Then, a hearing takes place before claims are approved or denied. Officials must act upon a complaint within six months after it is submitted, according to the program. If a claim is approved and an order finalized, homeowners have around 45 days to collect compensation.